Now, he has worked with everyone from Kylie Minogue to Juliette Binoche. Choreographer Akram Khan is one of the biggest names in the international dance circuit. Born in Britain to Bangladeshi parents, his latest production has been commissioned to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Bangladesh's independence. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, went to watch the rehearsals. Dancer and choreographer Akram Khan is one of the leading figures in contemporary dance. His work is unique in that it incorporates elements of the classical Indian art form of Kathak. In his new show, Desh, for the first time, Akram Khan explores his relationship with the culture of his parents' homeland, Bangladesh. It follows a year of research and is being created to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Bangladesh's independence from Pakistan. I thought, well, I haven't done anything about Bangladesh. I've always avoided that. Why have you avoided it, do you think? I think because it's so close. It's, too cl it's, it's so close to me and it's something I'm very familiar with. I think it was about confronting myself that I was afraid of. Um, because you have to ask yourself very difficult questions. What have you learnt about yourself and how you feel about your family's culture while working on the piece? I, I would say I've, I, I learnt um, a lot about myself, about how resistant I was as a teenager, um, how confrontational I was and difficult I was. For Akram Khan, Desh represents a reconnection with the culture of his parents, a culture very different from the one here in the West, where he grew up and developed as an artist. In Bangladesh, there tends to be more conformity and more of a respect for tradition amongst artists. And the idea of breaking boundaries or fusing together different art forms, which has come to characterise the work of Akram Khan, is relatively new. There are also issues of freedom of speech still affecting many artists in Bangladesh, something Akram Khan witnessed during his recent research trip. What was interesting was um, you, you close someone's speech and, you know, put a fist around it. But so, somehow they're still murmuring. It's like, you know, putting a wasp or something inside your hand. And somehow you can still hear the buzzing. So they haven't stopped. They're still buzzing with absolute ferocity. And, and that's the youth. And that's the young people. I, and I, that was really incredible to hear the young people say, yeah, we're not allowed to do this, we're not allowed to do that. But we can do this and we can do that. <laughs> So far, Desh is going down well with the British Bangladeshis who've been invited to watch rehearsals. I think he's hit the nail on the head yeah. there because I grew up in this country. My first exposure to Bangladesh that I could was a world when I was 17 and, and I didn't like it. I rebelled. Yeah, I found it quite awkward, you know, awkward and difficult to, to relate to that culture. But then the more you went back, the more exposure you got to Bengali culture, gradually you start to realise actually this is part of this is what I am. I'm not really in one culture, I'm a mix of, mixture of both. And I think that's the best way to have it. Are you really interested in Bangladeshi dance? Uh, not really, no. However British Bangladeshis feel about their cultural heritage, Akram Khan is hoping they'll engage with the struggle between two cultures at the heart of Desh. Both cultures are imbibed in um, philosophies and ways of, of, of living that are, that are different to each other. And so there is a clash, but then we're trying to take what we connect with from both and create a new one. And I think, I think this piece hopefully reflects that in a sense, where, especially my character, because I'm, I'm in that turmoil. <laughs> 